hello guys um how are you doing you doing good um hope you all are doing well i'm doing great um anyways um today i'll be talking about a fragrance a clone fragrance that has picked up so much steam in the past 5 years i mean it's not only a clone fragrance it's a fragrance that has a huge huge cult following i mean massive cult following and uh, for that i i do give it respect but um it's from a house that creates amazing original fragrances the originality in the house is top notch and um, i do respect them for that and this is one of their fragrances that is so original i can't even can't i can't stop laughing how original this is this boy right here Yes, Arma of Club de Nuit Intense Man, the fragrance that is the most original fragrance that the fragrance industry has ever seen. Just kidding, it is the most cloned fragrance of all time. That is Creed Aventus, and this is by far the most popular clone of Creed Aventus. No matter, there are like ten million clones of Creed Aventus now, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the one that truly revolutionized. the clone of creed aventus i think there were many clones before that but this this boy right here just truly changed the game anyways um why did i bring this fragrance up thing is especially in india this fragrance the cost has actually gone up uh, when i first bought uh, club to new intense man i had got like i'm talking about 2018 the time when i just joined the fragrance thing you know my when my passion for fragrance truly began it was one of the first few fragrances that i bought and i bought it for around 1700 rupees which i would say is around 20 dollars or so when i bought it in 2018 but now if you go on amazon in india or any online seller you'll find this um the edt by the way the edt of club dune intense man for around 2000 2200 hence i'm talking about this um fragrance because the price has gone up and it's weird why the price has gone up it's pretty much the same fragrance if not if not a worse fragrance in my opinion you might be like how is it worse first of all the price has just gone up for no reason secondly the reformulation i think after 2018 in the reformulated i think a majority of the fragrances in the fragrance game after 2018 were reformulated because of a uh, new ifra guidelines and uh, this was one of them that got hit and uh, definitely the performance of this is um this is a 2021 batch if you all are wondering and uh, my 2018 batch got finished because i only had like two fragrances if you can see back there if you can that's great a hugo boss and this i just would rotate these two fragrances it doesn't matter what occasion i would f- i would freaking wear them whenever i got the time <laughs> and yeah this my my man in 2018 this got me compliments and i bought it for, for like 1700 bucks i was like damn i got a steal um now it it still does get me compliments when the performance has definitely taken a hit like before club de nuit intense man would at least last me you know 8 9 hours on skin and would project for like 3 3 and a half but this boy right here it performs for like 5 to 6 hours maybe 6 and a half and uh, it projects for like one and a half to two hours it's not a massive difference but it is a difference that you can definitely notice that's one thing that uh, um they have changed the performance and the longevity and the projection that's definitely gone down the price has also of course changed also i would say the opening has changed while the 2018 version performed well in my opinion let me open this bad boy right here i really hate this about arma fragrances especially this one the cap is like so hard to open yep open there it is
Hmm. Wait, I didn't get a good spray of it. Hmm. The atomizers in this are so terrible. Did you see that? It's like, oh, uh, it's so squeaky. Let me let me show it. Show that again. Like, it um, it's like so creaky. It's like look at that. It's so cheap. It's not even uh, comfortable to use, and it doesn't even spray consistently. You know. But anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about was um, the opening. The opening of uh, Club Dune Intense Man is definitely uh, the 2021 batch that I'm using is definitely better than the 2018 batch. The 2018 batch was horrible. It was oh, unbelievably bad. It it's it smelled so sharp, so acidic. It was just unbearable. For, like for those five minutes, I generally most of the time whenever I wore it, I got a headache. I got a headache. I started sneezing everywhere. It was bad, but it was only about five minutes. Um, after those five minutes, man, this settled. The, the dry down and stuff was so much better. Um, this though, from the start, like it's a, it's still very sharp on the citrus, the lemony zinginess. You know, it's like lemon zest. Um, it's very sharp still, but um, it's much, much smoother. Than the 2018 one that I used, um, yeah. But the downside is it does not perform at all. Like compared comparatively, it's not a beast as it used to. But it's still a pretty good clone of Aventus. I did have a like a five mil D kind of Aventus. I had got it for like 600 rupees. It's like less than 10 dollars. I think it's worth it. But do that shit does not perform at all. <laughs> the Aventus, oh my god, it's so. It smells good. It gets me compliments as well. It got me. I mean, it's over. So it was only like five mil, but uh, oh man, it was tragic. Performance was like four to five hours. Projection was like one and a half hours max. So yeah, it's definitely better than Aventus in terms of price to value ratio in, in terms of performance. Yes, the smell of Aventus is much better, obviously, but um, yeah, it's not worth it, especially in 2022 but is this guy worth it club de nuit intense man in 2022 the edd is not worth it now before you click off this video i know it is still pretty cheap 2200 bucks 2200 rupees is still still like below 25 dollars it's still under 30 dollars it's still cheap i know but but arma released the pure power foam version and i don't own that but i've smelled i've smelt it and and of course i've tested it as well and oh my god that shit that shit does the deal you do like the edt the, the pseudonym this guy right here the edt is useless you don't need it now it's so worthless now because if you just pay 500 bucks more it's like 2700 2800 rupees again still under 30 dollars you are getting a beast that that thing performs and i'm i swear to like the fragrance gods out there that performs for 12 hours on my skin it projected for like five hours it was strong like two sprays you're good my friend like if you want CDNM uh, or the best Aventus clone for the price, go for CDNM, but go for the pure power form, the EDP version, and you can find them for so cheap, under three thousand rupees or under thirty dollars, and they're so worth it, so worth it, hundred percent. I I would recommend that, considering that it's only like five six hundred bucks more expensive than the EDT. The EDT is pretty much now invalid i mean if you can find older batches of sitting MEDT for good prices i get it you can still go for that but the current batches if considering that the pure platform exists is um yeah it's pretty redundant to own and um, it still smells good um but um i would suggest if you want sitting go for the pure platform it is way better um 
yeah and that's about it um a good a good throwback i guess um to one of the most legendary fragrances in the fragcom you can say whatever you want about armaus's pseudonym but it has a cult following it has a following like no other no fragrance has a bigger following than this guy you can say whatever you want but i it's hard to argue yes it's freaking cheap and look at my bottle look at that it's it's broken i have no idea how i broke it i really hate this bottle so much it's so fuck it's so cheap sorry for my language it is so cheap um but you know it's it's um it's a cult classic and i'm proud to own this should you buy it no if you want to buy it go for the pure parfum and that's the conclusion for this video if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more comment subscribe like the video it is uh, deeply deeply amazingly appreciated i don't have like mega huge fragrance collection it's mostly decants and like 10 bottles of fragrances but if you if you guys give me more support I, um i'll definitely buy more fragrances to review um i've smelled a lot of the fragrances that are very popular on the market um so i can definitely give my thoughts on those but um if i see and if i get more support i'll have to definitely motivate me to do more fragrance reviews and i have a lot and i mean a lot of middle eastern fragrances that nobody has heard about that's that are like worth a million bucks but are so cheap so if you want to see those um give this video a like comment subscribe thank you guys for watching you all are freaking awesome